¿Puede por favor tocar al guardia un momento para que venga? Claro que sí. Good morning, Your Honor. Anna Javidi on behalf of Arturo Murillo. All right. Good morning. Good morning, um, officer. Could you please dial this number for the interpreter? Yes, ma'am. 305-803-7020. Government on this. Good morning, Your Honor. Eli Rubin on behalf of the United States. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay. We're set, Your Honor. Good morning, Your Honor. I don't know if you heard me, Anna Dibiti on behalf of Arturo Murillo. Okay, thank you, counsel. All right, Mr. Mr. Murillo, I first want to start by letting you know that these hearings normally take place in the courtroom. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, we're authorized to hold these hearings by VTC as long as we get your consent on the record. Um, and you've had an opportunity to discuss that with your attorney. So before we start today, um, do we have your consent to proceed by video conference? Yes, good morning, Your Honor. Of course, yes. Proceed. Right. Thank you so much. So, um, counsel, I have on the calendar today a preliminary hearing um, and a pre-trial detention hearing set. How are we proceeding today? Judge, um, the government and my and myself with the consent of the client have decided to stipulate to a bond, a certain bond in this case that Mr. Murillo will not be posting, but in order to put a bond on the record, we have agreed that it would be a $250,000 corporate surety bond with a Nebbia, obviously with the right for the defense to come forward at any time and revisit that issue. Government? That, that's correct, Your Honor. It's a $250,000 corporate surety bond with a Nebbia requirement and a right to revisit. All right, and I understand that um, the Defendant won't be posting that bond at this point? No, ma'am, not at this point, Judge, no. So judge, we don't um, need to do the Nebbia today. Okay, that's no, fine. I will consent to that. Thank you, ma'am. Um, the government and myself have filed a consent, Judge, to ask Your Honor to continue this matter for um, 30 days. I, I will, in all candor to the court, advise the court that Magistrate Fletcher had some questions about why it was the third consent. And I think we're prepared to tell the court that you know we are working diligently in this case, that Mr. Moody or myself have met regularly and there are different things going on at this point. We are reviewing discovery. We are having constant meetings with the government. Well, I, let me clarify that. I am having constant meetings with the government to understand this case a little bit more. And that is why, quite respectfully, we would be asking for the preliminary hearing and the arraignment in this matter to be reset for 30 days. Mr. Moody, you completely consents to this and is fully advised of this. Okay, I think that um, the other magistrate judge denied that motion under the uh, rules that require the motion to state good cause and because he has been detained for a significant period of time i think since what may of yes ma'am may 22nd um and this is the third extension yes it is uh, the law requires that the record be made to establish good cause um I wonder if I should go sidebar with counsel and perhaps uh, both counsel can give me some more detailed information uh, for um, to establish that good cause. 
That would be very helpful, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So um, let me have IT put um, us into a room together. Um, Sergio, if you could put me in a room with the AUSA Ruben and Anna David. Yes, Your Honor. And sure, Judge. Let me go ahead and do that. May I, may I also ask that trial attorneys Jill Simon and Jerry Moody of the FCPA unit join us at that sidebar? They are joining good. us by Zoom. So that would be Jerry Moody. And who's the other person? Jill Simon, S-I-M-O. Uh, uh, Mr. Tillman, I see, has now joined us as well. All right, Stephanie, you think it's because- So, uh, Judge, it will be yourself, uh, Mr. Rubin, and uh, Mr. Davin. Ms. Davin, I'm sorry. All right, so we'll- Yes, also, uh, I see Jerry Moody there, but I don't see Simon. Is, I hear, oh, yeah, Mr. oh, I see Jill Simon. Going to say this Morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Is there anyone else? No one on behalf of the government, Your Honor. Okay. No, ma'am, no one else on behalf of defense, only me. Four people, okay. So I'd like to do a sidebar with them. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. The sidebar, we don't want that to be recorded. Okay, I cannot, uh, I can only handle Zoom. I can put you in the room. Um, I mean, once the judge, since uh, the laptop is the one in, in control with the sound, uh, the sound is going to go into the breaker room. We're not going to be able to uh, say or, or hear anything. But then, I'll be recording them. Okay. Recording stopped. It does not appear that you comply. All right, so let me go ahead and move you all. Summary judgment. Thank you. I think about statement of material facts. Hi, Sergio. Could you move me as well? This is Judge Reed Law Clerk. I'm sorry, you mentioned that you need to be in there too? And, and Hi, the, yes, this is Judge Reed Law Clerk. All right, and, give me a minute. Position, uh, dispute.
Recording in progress. Okay, I think we're all back in the main room. Yes. All right. Um, so I will um, grant the joint motion to continue preliminary examination and exclude time under the Speedy Trial Act for good cause. Council for government will prepare that order and make sure that council for Mr. Murillo has an opportunity to review it before it's sent to the court. Yes, the order will list the reasons which would include the extensive quarantine that Mr. Murillo had to undergo when he was first um, taken into custody and the challenges of counsel being able to confer with him during that time, his recent change in counsel and the unusually high amount of discovery in this case and some of the technical issues in accessing that discovery. Is there anything else on this matter for today? Your Honor, for, forgive me, I missed a, a portion of, of what you just said. It's the proposed order, which um, should it be agreeable, the court will enter will exclude the 30 days from the speedy trial. That is correct. Thank you. Nothing further from the government. Nothing further on behalf of the defense. Thank you for your time, Your Honor. Thank you, counsel. Hasta luego, Señor Murillo. Okay, the new day will be September 9th, 10 o'clock. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Judge. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, government. Mr. Murillo, your hearing is complete for today. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. You too. Sir, see you. See you. Next case is Mr. Sanders, Philip Arthur Sanders. The gentleman, could you please state your name? Your Honor, from the interpreter, could that still be Mr. Murillo? Señor Murillo, ¿usted escucha? Sí, sí. ya viene el guardia. Muy bien, ¿y usted? Oh. Sí. Okay. Yes, officer from the inter No, officer, we we are finished with that hearing. We are ready for the next okay. assignment. Thank you. We need All right, you want, the next, you want the next one up? Yes, that's correct. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you please take the name? At FTC, could you please state your name? Phil Sands. Uh, okay, thank you, sir. Your hearing is next. Let's see. Um, counsel for Mr. Sanders, are you present? Uh, yes. Good morning again, Your Honor. Christian Dunham, Assistant Federal Public Defender. 
government. Good morning, Your Honor. Andrea Goldberg standing in for Hillary Irvin on behalf of the government. Thank you, Ms. Goldberg. So first of all, Mr. Sanders, before we start your arraignment hearing, I want you to know that because of the pandemic, all of our hearings are being held on um, video camera. We're allowed to do so by the rules of procedure because of the pandemic, as long as we get your um, consent on the record. And I just want to make sure before we begin that we have your consent to have this arraignment this morning by video camera. Yes. All right, thank you, sir. Mr. Dunham. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. This is, a, this is a superseding indictment. Uh, I believe it was filed on Thursday. I did speak to Mr. Sanders on the phone on Friday about it. Uh, so he's aware. It doesn't, it doesn't really change very much, but just for the record, we'll waive formal reading of the superseding indictment, enter a plea of not guilty, request a trial by jury, request a standing discovery order. Uh, the government's given us discovery. In fact, we're set for calendar call tomorrow in front of Judge Moreno and hopefully trial next week. Okay, so I'll accept your waiver of the formal reading. I'll enter a plea of not guilty. Note your demand for jury trial and um, issue the standing discovery order to the extent that there is any more discovery that's needed. Anything further on this case? Not for the government. No, Your Honor. I could just let Mr. Sanders know that I'm, I'm not sure if you're gonna they're gonna bring you to the calendar call tomorrow. I've I've asked them to bring you to the calendar call. If not, I have scheduled a visit to visit you on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. So uh, I will be talking with you a lot this week. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Um, Sanders, were you able to hear your attorney? Uh, I didn't hear the last part of what he said. I heard about him scheduling uh, the visit for next week, but I couldn't hear nothing after that. Yeah, at the very end of your, um, when you were speaking, Mr. Dunham, we lost uh, some of that. No, just that I'm going to see him. I'm going to see him at the jail this week, and we're hoping to go to trial next week, and I'll let him know as soon as I know something. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, counsel. So, Mr. Sanders, your hearing is complete for today. I didn't hear you. What did you Your hearing is, is complete for today. Your, your hearing is concluded. Oh. Okay. I thank you, everyone. Thank you. Recording stopped. Hi, Your Honor. Hey, Betty, I think we're good, okay? I got muted if you need to speak. Yeah. All right, Robert? Oh, Betty, I'll call you at that number. Sorry, I just saw your message. That's okay. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, not a okay. big Okay. Uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, take good care. Bye.